Good morning from Wonsodong, guys. Seriously, I'm so excited to explore the next neighborhood, Wonsodong. Almost neighborhood 50 already. I can't believe we almost explored 50 neighborhoods together. But before we dive into it, I want to show you where I woke up this morning. It's fantastic, really lovely accommodation. Look at this window, really big window, and you look over these old green pine trees in a really nice garden. I will show you in a second what that is. But first, let me show you the rest. I have to bend over a little bit because it's not too high, but it's not too low either. I'm just too tall. But here's a nice kitchen. And through the kitchen, you go to the dining room. Well, I use it as a working room. But then my favorite part, the balcony, of course. Because from here, you have a really great view over Wonsodong in all directions. But this direction is my favorite. Here you can look up on all the Hanok buildings and there are many Hanok buildings in Wonsodong. There, over there, behind the wall, that's where the pine trees are that you could see through the window. That is the place of Changdokung, the palace UNESCO heritage. And that's right next to this accommodation. So I woke up to the sound of birds. And it was healing, I can tell you that. Really nice, had a really great sleep. And this accommodation is in the center of Wonsodong, so a great place to start exploring. And I can't wait to start. So there's so much to show you, so much to tell you. Let's go. All right, let's go, guys. <sighs> the rain, Changma season. I think I need to buy an umbrella to protect the camera. Rain or not, let's do it. And once outside, my eyes immediately fell on some lovely details. So I noticed there's so many nice aesthetics in this neighborhood. So here, for example, like a really cool brutalist architecture building. And then this nice, looks authentic Hanuk building in front of it. Very tiny. And that a combination is cool. I'm not the only one seeing the beauty in this, right? On the side of this building, there's a really old sign of what the shop used to be, but the shop doesn't exist anymore, now it's something else. Hanok Sudi. So there used to be a Hanok repair shop in here. But things like this is really cool to find in the neighborhood. Little aesthetics. Wonso has a weirdly vertical shape because in the past, the neighborhood's boundaries were divided along a stream. Now the stream is mainly gone. Just one spot reminds us of the existence of this stream. You will see it later. Oh, hello. Yes. 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 뭐 주택 이런 데도 바뀌고 여기 상가 쪽도 조금 바뀌고 그럼 여기 제일 좀 좋은 점 뭐예요? 저요. 네, 감사합니다. 네, 네. 안녕히 계세요. Now having this rain with all the Hanok buildings, it looks kind of romantic. So Wonsodong, during the Joseon dynasty, used to be a neighborhood where middle class officials, members of the royal court, used to live. Hey, good morning. What a timing. <laughs> Are you going to work? Yeah. So I met her yesterday night when I was walking around. <laughs> She's having here uh, yeah. an art gallery, right? Yes. You can quickly say, what do you think of Wonsodong? Ah, it's very good because it's so quiet, uh -huh. like in front of forest. Yeah. And local people are so very good. So when we're living here, then we feel very um, safe, safety. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and very quiet. So uh. we love to live in, live in here. There. <laughs> okay, well, good luck with work. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Walking all the way to the end of Wonsodong, you can find evidence of the stream. But this is more than just an ordinary water source. This is one of the oldest laundry places in Korea, still here in Seoul, I should say, not Korea, together with the Chonggyecheon stream. Not only women of the court did their laundry here, but also ordinary people. They must have had fun chit-chats. Two worlds colliding at this exact location. Or was it all awkward ignoring? I'll leave it up to your imagination. So there's a legend saying that whenever politicians were fighting in the palace, then the next day you will probably find a dead body right over here. What kind of people were living in this neighborhood? I know of one person. His name was Goi Dong. <laughs> His name is Dong. He was the first painter to adapt Western style. So this is the man. He used to live in this house that he built and designed himself. It's a mixture of Korean, Japanese and Western style architecture. His oil painted self-portrait, for example. Him resting in the studio, fanning himself, bare chest, hardcover books, a realistic description of his daily appearance. And exactly that was very unconventional in 1915. 
setting the stage for the modern art scene. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like how they exhibit these, these three paintings next to each other so you can compare. Hello. I like this way. So we're going up the hill because apparently according to the Saja name of Dal Dongne Coffee. I don't know why I said Dal Dongne Coffee. It's Dongne Coffee. And her coffee was great. There is a really great view over the neighborhood. Let's check it out. Up on the hill, most Hanoks have disappeared and be mostly replaced by ordinary residential villas. I believe this is it, guys. I remember one of the comments mentioned that when he lived here in the 70s and 80s, he remembered seeing elephants next to Chang Dokung Palace as Chang Yongung Palace. And when Japan colonized Korea, they changed the name to Chang Yong Won, became a park, they made it a city zoo as well. People here, living here, they could see the elephants and whatnot. I love this view. I love it a lot. Wonso feels like a weird coexistence of tradition and modernity. Like this early Joseon astronomical observatory in front of the Hyundai office. I bet most people walk by and don't even notice. So there's a description in English, but I understand only half of what it says and a lot of technical boring information about the size and uh, the stone structure and all that things, but not so much of how they used it and what they used it for and uh, what they have discovered with this thing in particular. We want stories, not just technical information. Stories make us remember. Oh yeah, another remarkable sight was this private house, glued against palace walls. The driver of Sing Man Lee yeah. has yeah. lived in that house. Yeah. That's a funny fact. Yeah. And the driver's uh, daughter was the same classmate with my sister, younger sister. <laughs> That's why I remember. Oh, by the way, this is Kim Yoon Young. She built the Hanok style house for the Mishmash restaurant, which her daughter and son in law run. She was born and raised in the area. Do you have like any good uh, childhood memories of this area? I can tell you, in, in inside the Changde Palace, there are a lot of pond, and I used we used to go there for skating. When I was 12 years old, 13 years old, I was skating inside the Changde Palace. No way. I don't think that's allowed anymore. Not anymore. At any palace where there's a pond, mm -hmm. we've been skating there. That, that sounds romantic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the boyfriend or? No, 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 no. no. The school Just friends. Just for friends. The school friends. We were too, you know, in that time, everything is very conservative. We're not allowed to even, to, you know, boys and children, they have to separate. Yeah. Separate. Yeah. Uh. According to uh, Confucian lifestyle. A must visit museum is the Arario Art Museum. A brick building covered in ivy, which can be seen as starting point of modern Korean architecture built in 1971 when it housed the space group. I wasn't allowed to film inside, but check these photos. There's some cool stuff in here. My favorite artist, Keith Haring, and whatever this is. So, guys, I wasn't allowed to film in the Arario Art Gallery, but it's an epic building, and even more so from the inside. I felt like walking through an Asher painting. I'm gonna give you an example now. I love all the stairs, the bricks, small dark rooms, and uh, the art itself is pretty freaky and disturbing, but it's more my taste. It's like, uh, I'm not easily satisfied with art, but this exhibition did well. So definitely a recommendation from now on, Arario Art Gallery. Too bad I couldn't film inside, but took a lot of photos, which was allowed. Let's continue, Won So Dong. I also enjoy finding small trivias in neighborhoods, and I found one in Won So. Here, check this out. It's a manhole lit, 
but a very old one. This one was made when Korea was colonized by Japan. You can see the symbol in the middle from the Gyeongsong Bu, that's the name of Seoul, when Korea was colonized by Japan. It had a different name. So you won't see many of these in the city anymore, but this one is still here. So cool, little piece of history. back in the accommodation. Guys, what a day, what a weather to film. So, I forgot to tell you that if you're interested in this accommodation, you want to go to Wonsadong, which I highly recommend, search Point Space. This particular location is called Point Wonso because it's in Wonso. Oh yes, and of course, everyone is welcome. Also first time visitors to Korea. I really enjoyed it, I could heal. I felt like I was away from the city while being in the city. Despite the rain, I truly enjoyed Once a Dome. And it felt, ironically, like an escape from the city while being in the city. It's quiet, next to the palace, making me feel I'm near nature. And people are friendly. I remember somebody told me about Wada Bell, work-life balance. I guess this is a good place to escape the working life for a moment and fix the balance. See you in the next neighborhood. Welcome to my dome. Hello.